This pizza not only tastes delicious but the dough is made with only two ingredients. That's right. Today we are going to share the recipe of two ingredient pizza dough. Hi guys and welcome to our channel The Khan's Creation. We'll start off by adding 3 cups of self rising flour. If you cannot find it in the market, please check out the link above to see how to make it in the house. Next add 2 cups of yogurt. That's pretty much it. Just mix it up very well. Now dust the surface with the flour and put your mixture onto the top and start rolling it. It is meant to be sticky so don't worry. You can add as much flour as you like and then roll it into a dough. Once it's done, use the dough cutter to cut it into halves. If you want to make four small pizzas, you can cut them into half again. The best thing about this pizza dough is that you don't have to keep it for 2 or 4 hours. It is just ready instantly. Now with the help of a rolling pin, you can shape the pizza into any shape you like. It could be square or round, depends on your pizza pan. Keep in mind that it should be around 1 inch thick. Here comes my favorite part. Rotate the pizza dough onto your knuckles and up in the air and make sure that it lands right back onto your hands. Right, I'm making a chicken tikka pizza. So, here's what I'm going to use. chicken breast 350 grams ginger and garlic paste about 1 tablespoon 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of yogurt salt to taste if you don't want to add salt it's fine because we're going to add 1 tablespoon of chicken tikka masala the chicken tikka masala already have some salt so it's up to you Now mix everything very well. Uh, again, you don't have to keep this to marinate. If you want, it's fine, but I won't. Now in a pan, you add two tablespoons of oil and pour our mixture straight into it, and we are going to cook it until it's nice and golden. Our chicken tikka filling is now ready. If you want, you can smoke it with the charcoal. I will leave it like that. Let's start assembling our pizza. I am making a chicken tikka pizza, but it is completely up to you. You can change it into a margarita pizza or a simple vegetable pizza or a Hawaiian pizza, whatever you like. On this one, I've added a few spoons of pizza sauce and then added a little bit of cheddar cheese at the bottom, some bell peppers, sliced tomatoes. black olives the chicken we made and of course lots and lots of mozzarella cheese some red chili flakes and oregano at the top As it is a no oven recipe I'm going to show you how to make it onto the stove top. Brush some oil into a pan and place your pizza dough. Again brush some oil over to the top. Once you see that it has start creating bubbles, you can flip the pizza and start assembling it. Then cover and cook on a low heat for about 20 minutes. And the same procedure for the oven. Brush out the baking tray, place your pizza dough and start assembling it once it's done. Bake at 180 degrees for about 25 minutes. And voila, your pizza is ready. This is the one that we have taken out from the oven. It looks nice and crispy. But check this out. The pizza we made in the pan looks more delicious. I would really prefer to make it in the pan rather than the oven. But do tell us in the comment box below that which one turned out amazing for you. 
hope you liked our recipe if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching if you're new to our channel don't forget to subscribe Allah Hafiz